not your fault. We haven't found any, and we've been looking for, what, days? Yeah, well that still doesn't change the fact that we're stuck in the past with the possibility of the time paradox making us explode or something at any random minute. No, I think we're fine. How do you know? I just do. I have to agree. How do you know? Well, I scanned your time machine. The algorithms are amazing. From what I can tell, there are no paradoxes from using this machine. As long as you're not standing right next to your copy, that is. Oh. Okay, then. Yeah, but there's just one thing wrong with your time machine design. What's that? Where's your flux capacitor? We don't have one. Our machine doesn't use that. Yeah, ours runs on antifreeze. Oh. Well, there's none of that here for some odd reason. Well, that's just fucking great. Just terrific. And now we have to go somewhere else to find some damned antifreeze so we can go the fuck home. What's got you so pissed? The fact that we're stuck in the past and we can't go home, and I'm way too far from Kara to do anything about our relationship. What relationship? From what Jack has told me, you and her don't have a relationship. Okay, two things. First, you stop sharing my life story for the sake of conversation. And second, everybody has a relationship with anybody they spend any amount of time with. Like, for instance, Jack and I have a relationship. Uh, I'm not gay, dude. I never said you were. I only said that we have a relationship. Yeah, okay, but I'm not gay. I don't care if you are, but I'm not. I'm not gay, and I never said you were. Just that you and I have a certain type of relationship. Like how Jack 2.0 and I have a relationship. Uh, I'm not gay either. I never said you were. I only said that we have a certain type of relationship. A non-gay relationship? Yes! Thank you. Oh. Well, why didn't you just say that? I did. No, you just said relationship. And speaking of relationships, how's yours with Kara? What relationship? He doesn't have one, remember? Oh, yeah. How's the non-relationship going, buddy? We're working on it. Well, I am. She'd just rather shoot me with her rifle or stab me with her sword at this point. But at least I'm trying. No, do or do not. There is no try. Hey, an original Yoda quote. Nice. Where'd you learn that? I've been downloading some Earth records provided by Jack. I'm currently on your ancient history, the period you classify as the Star Wars. Uh, what? I can't see where you got these files, as they come from a galaxy far, far away. Uh, you do know that those are movies, right? Oh, well, that makes sense. I assume these were overly dramatic reenactments. Okay, I'm moving on to time-themed files. Hey, Jack, that reminds me. Where'd you hide the time machine? Somewhere where no one will find it. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, what's with the evil laugh? Sorry. I just wanted to marvel at my genius and let my ego run wild for a while. Uh, that's a pretty bad idea. I've seen your ego, and it's not pretty. Hello, minions, and how are we doing on this beautiful day? <laughs> I think I will use the elephant to crush these structures and make myself a chair to sit on, for I am the greatest soldier ever! <laughs> Go away, Jack. I don't want to talk right now. We're not your minions. Stop saying that. I can't help it. I am lord of all that I can see from the hornet at this altitude limit that Paul established. Yeah, that's bad. That doesn't sound that bad. It gets worse, believe me. Okay, then. Hey, isn't it that time when we left Sidewinder to go in for inspection and nearly physicals? Hey, yeah! Now we can go back to Sidewinder to go get the antifreeze that Paul keeps in the storage locker. I have no idea what you guys just said, but I agree entirely. Alright, let's go. How do you know that this is the time of year when you head out for yearly physicals and whatnot? Oh, well, I have a photographic memory. And yet you're a moron. Shut up. Mm -hmm. 